Hello Tomopop and welcome to Help Me BJD episode 5, Eyes. So, if your doll doesn't have eyes, they're going to be pretty creepy looking. So you want to make sure you have some and you have a lot of options. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, first, just the basics of it. How to put the eyes in, position them. Uh, let's see, I'll use the one with big eyes. That'll be good. So here, have a doll. It's big eyes. They're glass eyes. If you want to get in there and change the eyes, take the wig off. Take the head cap off. Now you'll notice there's a little um, hook in there, a little circle. And what happens is that the S hook inside of the doll, you can, I'm not sure how good you can see this, there's the big S in here. Usually you thread it through this circle here so that it holds on the head cap. And if you don't do that, the head cap's really easy to get, um, to get off. But if you do do it and the doll is tightly strong, you're going to have a really hard time getting to the eyes because it'll just pull down on this and you can't open it. So if you don't want to thread it through, through there, what you can do is use a small rubber band, thread it through here, and then um, you put both ends through the S-hook to hold it on. But unless the rubber band is really tiny, um, you're going to lose some elasticity, uh, some tension rather, in the neck and the head might be a little floppy. Um, you can also try just taping the head cap on. Or you can try, if you still want to thread the S hook through here, what you can do is the tension is connected all the way down to the foot. So essentially, you would see this loop here? You would put some sort of strong string or ribbon through it and then just sort of ease the tension by feeding the string into the doll. But you have to make sure that this elastic doesn't jump back into the doll because otherwise you're going to have to restring the whole doll and it'll just be annoying unless you intend to restring it anyway. And either way, you probably don't want the elastic jumping up in the doll because, you know, it'll have some force to it. It might snap something. So what you do is you, it's going to look like a gross mess in there, but what you do is you just sort of take the eye and line it up in, in the eye hole and cover it with eye putty, that's that gooey stuff in there, and it'll hold it in place. And it doesn't have to be eye putty from the company, it can be um, those kneaded art erasers, it can be sticky tack, although that might get kind of gross, or it could be um, silicon earplugs and those are great because you can get them cheap at just a drugstore. They're easy to get and they work well. And you can order just putty from a doll company but unless you're ordering a doll I wouldn't do it because you're going to be paying overseas shipping for something you know you can just go get at a CVS basically. So, just a general tip on positioning eyes. I'm not really going to talk about it. You just experiment with it. You'll figure it out pretty quickly. Um, some people think it's a little unnerving when a doll is just like staring straight at them like that. So, if that bothers you, just have them sort of glance off to the side. Okay. So, moving on to choosing eyes. You can get them in all colors, sizes, and shapes. So, what you're thinking of wanting for your doll, you can probably find it. Um, so you can have eyes made just for you by an eye maker. And let me sort of tell you about your options here. One thing you can do is eye stalks or no eye stalks. And what that means is that when you look in the doll's head, the eyes will have this little protrusion coming out of the back and you can use that to sort of help you change where the eye is looking and it can stick up through the putty so it's easier than if you don't have eye stalks. 
But on the other hand, if you do have eye socks and your head is small or it has like the mini fee neck mechanism in here, um, if you have eye socks, you're not going to be able to twist the mechanism without hitting the eyes and then you'll be repositioning the eyes all the time. So I usually prefer them without eye socks. But some people like them, some people don't. It's a preference thing. So you can usually ask for them or not ask for them if you're having someone make them for you. Um, another thing is that you have low dome and high dome. My recommendation is low dome because what that means is that where the eye extends forward, it's going to be lower on the eye and this usually helps it fit into the eye hole of the doll better. Um, let me just take a doll's eyes out for you so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is a mini fee Marsha whose eyes I'm poking out here. Here we go. So you see kind of very creepy without eyes. Here are the eyes. No eye socks, they're flat. Um, if they're low dome, the part that sort of protrudes, you can probably see them coming forward a little. It's going to be lower, so it fits in there better. I'm not really sure what the advantage would be to getting um, high dome. I've always been told low dome is easier. Um, that might not be entirely true, but I've never run into any trouble with low dome eyes. So I would recommend low dome. But there may be uh, good things to high dome too. So another thing is you can have round or oval shaped eyes. And there's really no difference. Um, the round ones are just sort of circular and the oval ones are ovular. And you can't really tell the difference at all looking from the doll like this. You could tell if you looked inside of it. Um, the only advantage I can think of one over the other is that oval eyes, um, if you're using small eyes, sometimes if it's too small for the head, you can get this little gap. And oval eyes might help reduce that because of the way they're shaped. So that might be good, but it really shouldn't matter that much if you go oval or not oval. So now let me talk about the three general types of eyes. There's acrylic, glass, and urethane. Acrylic eyes tend to be the cheapest. Um, most companies, not all, will send their dolls to you with acrylic eyes and people usually don't want want to change those. Like I just got this doll, I shouldn't have a wig yet, from Blue Fairy and you can see her acrylic blue eyes. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, they're kind of the cheapest. They're sort of comparatively dull. They don't reflect light very well. Um, you can get some interesting detail in them, but generally people don't care for acrylic that much. But you can get them for cheap and that's always good. Now glass eyes, um, those tend to be sort of middle ground in price. Not always though. In general, urethane are the most expensive. Um, like on average, if you were to just take a random glass eye and a random urethane eye, the odds are good that the urethane pair is more costly, but there are definitely glass eyes that are just as expensive as the typical urethane eyes. So glass eyes are pretty nice quality. They reflect light well. And the really good news about them is they're, they're very sturdy. She has glass eyes. And she has some glass eyes. Um, people say they're good in photos. And generally they're well thought of. They can range in price. Um, I would say probably the typical pair of glass eyes costs $30. But if you move on to urethane... Some people really love urethane, and some people aren't as big of a fan. I only have one doll with urethane eyes. That's this guy. I'm pretty sure these aren't the highest quality urethane eyes, though. 
I just like the color. So, the thing about urethane eyes is urethane is a type of resin. And remember we talked about how resin can yellow. So urethane eyes, the color can change over time. And, you know, that might be something you wouldn't want to happen. Um, but if you're taking care of your doll, it should be okay. Um, people who like urethane eyes say that the color tends to be very rich. You can generally get more detail into the iris than is possible with a glass eye. And people say they reflect well in pictures and have deep, rich color, but other people say that glass eyes are much more reflective. So it depends on who you talk to, but definitely the downsides of urethane are that they are generally the most expensive, typically running at about $40 to $50 a pair. Um, they can change color over time because they are urethane, and they're softer than glass eyes and more likely to become scratched or just generally damaged. Apparently there are silicon eyes too, but I really don't know anything about that. Um, and you can also use glass beads or other creative things for eyes, so you know, you can be creative with it, but generally acrylic, glass, and urethane. So buying eyes, um, I wish I could give you more advice here, but I'm not really that interested in eyes compared to a lot of other doll collectors. My go-to for eyes is called Captioning Glass, a Chinese eye maker. Their eyes they're, are glass, and they're usually about the quality of a $30 to $40 pair, but they cost $10 a pair. And the shipping is, is pretty cheap, too, which is great. Um, and she makes them for you. You pick your color, and you can pick, you know, low dome, high dome. You can pick stems or no stems. And usually I've had really good results with that, so I've been happy. Um, sometimes I wish the, pupil the pupils were bigger, but you can probably tell her I want bigger pupils, so that's probably what I'll do next time. Um... The other bad thing about captioning glass is that she usually takes like, it takes about five weeks on average to get here, but apparently the wait time has gotten better recently. According to her site, it only takes a week for her to ship them out and then probably another two weeks for them to um, arrive to you from China. So your thing, eyes, they're really popular, but averaging at 40 to $50 a pair, it's really expensive. So. You know, take a look at all of it. Um, I know Enchanted Doll Eyes and Gumdrop Eyes are very popular. I'll link you to these down here. Um, but otherwise, I can't really tell you that much about where to get them or how much they are. Um, most doll companies will carry eyes, so you can look there, too, if you're buying a doll and you're thinking, oh, I don't want those acrylic eyes it's going to come with. Um, just so you have another pair. But... I think Captured in Glass is a really great deal if you're looking to not spend as much if you're not like a big eye person. Um, so unfortunately, like everything else in the doll world, eyes can really put you out. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Pretty short this week. Um, next time, I think... I think I'll be talking about a doll supply kit. I believe someone suggested that. So, that's all for today. Sorry it's so short. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!